I just thought that because you've been in more videos than usual this month and people keep asking me how we first met and stuff like that, it might be fun to tell people in song, you know, a little Christmas jingle. Yeah, why not? Give me a break. I've been doing three videos a week all December. I told you I'd get a bit fluffy. Look at our hats, we've got our balls on either side. Two big swinging balls. Won't be the last time you see that today either. <laughs> Alright, so if, you, uh, if you've if you been following the channel a while, you'll know that last year Mrs. Beard and I, we, uh, we came to Stonehouse Pizza and Carberry and assembled probably the biggest dinner ever eaten. Can't really confirm, but we thought we'd go one better this year. We basically just put on a bunch of extra stuff, including the dreaded sprouts. Ugh. I think last year we just did uh, turkey, because it's traditional, but your family does beef for some reason at Christmas. Yeah. So this year I've got turkey, ham, and beef, plus some mash, some root mash, sprouts, Yorkshire puddings, because we're from Yorkshire. Yorkshire? What is Yorkshire? Some pigs in blankets, some stuffing, oh, a cauldron full of gravy. Definitely gonna get me in the Christmas spirit. Roasties as well, roast potatoes. Yes. Forgot those. Oh yeah. Lashings of gravy. What do, you, what do you want it on? Everything. Everything? More over here where I am. Oh, look at that. The, we need more gravy. More gravy? More gravy. It's too much gravy, if anything. 
Right, can we get in? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this ball, man. All right, it's a little dark, but I'll do what I can with the image. Let's uh, let's tuck in. Welcome back, Beard Army, and Merry Christmas. I shouldn't beat it with my hands. I wouldn't do this on Christmas Day. Me neither. Whatever. I've never eaten Yorkshire pudding with my hands before, but... <laughs> For eating the biggest Christmas dinner. Damn straight. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they might think we're insane, but at least they know we're polite, insane people. <laughs> I made a huge mistake here of eating the meat first. Normally, you eat the vegetables, like the sprouts, mm. but I hate sprouts, so I don't know if I'm gonna even get through them. So I'll leave them to the end, and if I puke, whatever. At least I've then enjoyed most of the meal. I had to bring over extra sprouts, and I put extra on. Yeah, you were piling on the sprouts like it was going out of fashion. That payback for the spicy gingerbread cookie. <laughs> You're right. We need more gravy. It's the first time I've seen a gravy cauldron before. Oh, the root mash. Because nobody gets excited about root mash. Root beer? Yeah. Root mash? No. <laughs> I'm trying to leave the Yorkshire puddings for you as much as possible because those are the only things you're going to eat here. That and the mash. Yeah, so that was a tactic here. Leave the pudding and mash to Mrs. Beer, but she didn't even carry a weight with those things. I can see plate now, though. I can, see the, I can see the metal. Your side is much more empty than mine. Mm. Can I have a pudding or? Yeah? Yeah, you don't steal Yorkies from this woman lightly. You've got to dig in. The, the dreaded words. I am getting full. I guess I should have some beef. You don't eat beef at Christmas, man. Why? It's turkey, or if you're in America, I guess ham is slightly more common. Plus I have turkey at Thanksgiving. So turkey, ham, not beef. Although I, I guess it's Christmas, so you can have whatever roast beast you like. Just not nut roast. I gave it some ham, but the beef is actually the most delicious. I mean, the turkey was pretty good, the ham was good. But this beef is succulent. Oh, we we'll eat it all, but don't worry. We've got to finish it now. I promise that we're going to finish it. You can't be full already. Don't give me that. What do you do to get your food down? You can wiggle a bit if you get desperate, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't normally do it after like six Yorkshire puddings ten minutes in. Looks ridiculous, but whatever. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> you can't do that when my family come over on Christmas Day, I'm telling you. No, I've got room. So. That's what we in the, in the that's what we professionals call air management. <laughs> that's what, that's what call it. Technical term for flatulence. Why are you cutting mash with a knife? What's wrong with you? You're the only person that would ever do something like that. To get more gravy. By which I think she means get more gravy on the floor because she spilt tons of it. But she's uh, she's giving it her best. You feeling okay? Nope. Yeah, maybe I'll make you go to IKEA on a full belly. Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> do you know what's really underappreciated? Potatoes. Was that versatile? <laughs> I think we all know how enthusiastic your love for potatoes is. We don't need to eulogize about it. Eulogize? You can look that one up when you get home. You're just like feeding me, it's weird. Look at... <laughs> oh. I'll be alright, I'll, I'll be alright. It's about to hit you. This reminds me of that pizza challenge I did with Bob where I just kept moving my pizza onto <laughs> Bob's side of the plate and he would eat it. You're doing that to me right now. It's payback for you, Bob. <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to the sprouts now. I've never had a sprout before. I think I'm going to try one. So I'll do it now before I feel too sick. See, that's a sprout. I'm not lying. 
just look like a mini, mini broccoli. No mini cabbage. <laughs> I am no fan of sprouts. Okay? No big fan of sprouts in there. The Don't leave me hanging like this. You told me you could eat all the Yorkshire puddings. Uh, I said I would try. Look at the size of these potatoes. I get the feeling you've tapped out. <laughs> all right, finish the match and we'll call it teamwork. Yeah, so again at this point Lindsay's given up early, leaving me to finish god knows how many pounds of food, so strap yourselves in, it's gonna get bumpy. We're getting there. If I keep holding my fork, it creates the illusion that I am still trying. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty much like full to here. So I'll just sit with my fork. Keep going, you've, you've done really well. I'll need some more of these at the end, but I get the feeling my beard's probably a bit of a mess. We just clean up a little bit. Yeah, on this occasion we're sat quite far from the camera though, so luckily you can't see it in all its um, disgusting glory. Sort your life out. You better finish that mash. I'm not finishing this much, I can tell you now. There's like one mouthful of mash. We are finishing this meal. Otherwise, we're not getting married. That's it. It's just, that's the ultimatum. I'm out. <laughs> Who knew it'd be that easy, eh? Anyway, at this point, I'm starting to worry a little bit because I know the sprouts are going to be rough. And I really just want Lindsay to finish the mash. That's it. I genuinely don't think I'm going to need to eat for the rest of the day. That's the idea. Don't tell me you're saving room for like a garlic bread for supper or something. That'll do. Serious. Oh no, I'm gonna say serious now with this fork, but. Are you actually unbuttoning your jeans? Yeah. I was only ever in. All these support. people knew that you were gonna flake. They all knew. It was an added bonus that I ate some. I was only ever here to support you. You're lucky I was a bit hungry. These sprouts, my. Yeah. This is where it starts to get really hard. I feel sick. You feel sick. I've just got to eat like a, a pound of sprouts now. Why did you put so many sprouts on here? You could put anything on, like extra turkey, extra beef. They're absolutely heinous. Anyone that says sprouts taste good, and there's something wrong with them. My dad loves sprouts. Yeah, it's the sign of a psychopath if you like sprouts. It's like eating detergent or something like that. I don't understand why you would ever eat sprouts. I know I complain quite frequently, but really, sprouts are one of those foods that really earn it. We are not failing this Christmas dinner. We're not failing it, so dig in. I've eaten my share. And I'll get you back for giving me the... I'm sure your gingerbread last week didn't even have any spice on it. <clears throat> Mine was way hotter than yours. I hate both cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate both cookies. I hate them both. <laughs> I don't want to use the crumbly sauce. I feel like it's going to ruin crumbly sauce for me forever. Yeah, somebody commented saying can you eat five kilos of sprouts. So, if you're that person... You know how that would have gone now. You can say that again. A lot of people were asking me to do five kilos of Brussels sprouts throughout the entire festive mini series. I think because they know that Brussels sprouts are my most hated food of all time. You left me hanging here. If I finish this, I'm not lifting a finger this Christmas. Yeah, I was supposed to play some part in cooking dinner for the family, but Mrs. Pitt sold me out good here, so there's no chance I'm doing that. Come on, take one for the team. Eat these two last bits. I'm so close here. You can do it. Come on, I can. F <laughs> I can just feel like your whole back and stomach is just like hacked. <coughs> I 
Okay. This is Beard Meets Food and Mrs. Beard who offered next to no assistance whatsoever and that was definitely the biggest Christmas dinner ever eaten. It has to be. I feel like I'm gonna pop. Beard out. You absolutely sold me out there, man. Oh. I ate a lot. Anyway, while I finish this, let's say a Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas! That watched the Christmas series, it's been a lot of fun. Not so much today, but <laughs> before today, hope you have a great Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, there'll still be another video in a few days.